animating immortal babies in real time within the Unreal Engine using an iPhone 10 strapped to a paintball helmet and an XN suit. Project Babyface. But why? We needed a cheap and fast way to bring our Babylon game world to life. What's up, everybody? We are back on Project Babyface, episode five. Now, this episode is all about using the real-time mocap setup to make a really big, big announcement. announcement, 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 announcement. Now, I also want to use it as an opportunity to further test the pipeline, but within a more narrative-style production, right? So, something using multiple characters, multiple cameras, edits, that sort of thing. Also, how fast will it all go now that it's being captured, edited, and rendered all within the Unreal Engine? I'm gonna give myself three to four days tops to finish this, start to finish. So anyways, without further ado, let's jump in and do this, baby. I'm gonna start with whipping up a quickie skit, hopefully something reasonably watchable. Then I'm gonna jump into the XN suit with the iPhone 10. Record. Okay, C1A, take two. From there, I'm gonna record all the different character performances using Sequence Recorder. Again, hopefully reasonably watchable. Oh man, oh man, you're gonna get blasted, sucker. For a change, everything finally worked. Hallelujah. Then back into Unreal, where I'm gonna grab a bunch of our Bebelon game assets, like, like our crib environment, and then probably a handful of different baby characters. Then into Sequencer to edit all of the mocap data into a few different scenes. Then I can set up some rough cameras around and then do some edits. Then it's render time. And after that, a quick pass through Logic 10 to do some sound design. And boom! Four days later, we should have ourselves an announcement video slash new babyface mocap test. Yes, yes, lights up, lights up. Boom, boom, lights. All right, Fugga Dougie, let's roll, baby. What's up, everyone? We are back on Project Babyface, episode five, with a big, exciting announcement. But before that, I want to introduce you guys to my bro, Han Solo Bite. Now he's going to give you a quick recap on Babyface. All right, take it away, Han. How's it going, everybody? <clears throat> Project Babyface. It started a year ago and has something to do with an iPhone 10, a weekend experiment, and a game. Mm -hmm. Also, something about a real time within an engine that is unreal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots and lots of potential. It has a lot of potential. Thank you. Okay, yo, thank you, Han. That was useless, buddy. You left out pretty much everything. He said he had a photographic memory. Anyways, anyways, we weren't the only ones who were super excited about the potential, and that takes us to the big, exciting announcement. All right, fugga duggy, drum roll, please, my baby man. Yeah. Drum roll. Hmm. You put ants in the pants and it makes you do a dance. You put ants in your pants and it makes you do a dance. You put ants in the pants and it makes you do a dance. You do a little dance like ants in your pants. Fuck it, Dougie. Fuck it, Dougie. Hello. What are you doing? That's right, baby. You put ants in the pants and it makes you do a dance. Yo, dude, stop. What are you doing? I need like a regular drum roll, you know, like, like, like. A regular drum roll? I know what a drum roll is. I just thought that it would be better to play my new song. It's a work in progress. But, um, 
They liked it. Dude, I'm sitting here trying to do the big announcement. I'm doing the big announcement. Come on, man. Can you just can you just play the the drum roll that we talked about, please? And don't forget about the voice effects, okay? Fine. I got you, man. I got you. Last year, Epic Games gave us a dev grant to support development of our game, Babylon. A few weeks ago, they gave us another one. This time, to help us take this mocap stuff out of the garage and do something with it way more meaningful than a bunch of baby test animations. So I'm proud to announce, thanks to their generosity and sheer awesomeness, we are going to be making a Babylon feature film. Woo, yeah, that's right, people. Though it's actually the exact same duration and style as a short film. But we don't like saying the word short. Ain't that right, suckers? It's going to be the biggest, most amazing short film feature movie of all time. An epic undertaking of monumental proportions. And if Fogadoggy doesn't stop that shit, I'm gonna knock the immortality out of his dumb ass. Dude, one more time. Oh man. Oh man, you're gonna get blasted, sucker. What are you doing? I'm gonna get medieval in here, sucker, sucker. Oh, yeah, you oh, oh shit. calm down, big dude, guy. Calm down. Just you, messing around. Always trying to do something. Whoa, cool. dude, come on. What are you doing? Me, you know what I'm saying? Dude, you gotta stop that seriously. Shit, dude. Seriously. This ain't funny, man. Come on, man. I'm just what playing around, doing? man. There ain't no reason to get all upset. Oh, come on. Come on, little baby. Oh, you're getting all upset about an announcement. Who cares anyway, man? Jesus. Huh? How you like that, baby? sucker? The big damn baby. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. Sucker, I told you. I told you. <laughs> Yo, dude, thanks a lot for you guys' help. What kind of entourage are you anyway? Hello? 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 Come on, what are you guys doing over there anyway? What are you playing? What's going on? What the hell, Bobby? Seriously. Yay, you made it. Congratulations. Good job, you guys. Not exactly a freaking masterpiece of storytelling, not even remotely, but it was a really solid test for me because it told me that I could actually make a bunch of content in a short amount of time using all this awesome new technology and at this point, I think the big, big, big question is, can we make a compelling, emotionally charged short film worthy of all the crazy Bebelon world character and story development that's been happening over the last three years? Can we make something worthy of Bebelon with an iPhone 10 strapped to a paintball helmet? I think the answer is yes and it's gonna be a pretty wild ride trying to figure it all out. And that's why I wanted to convert this whole Babyface series into a behind the scenes making of so that all you guys can come on this wild and crazy journey with us. By crazy, I mean it's gonna be full blown guerrilla style. You know, we have a small budget within a very short time frame with a, a microscopic team we have uh, a lot of pipeline stuff to work out. The face capture quality has got to get, you know, a whole lot better, and I'm pretty sure that it can. We're gonna need some really awesome actors, and I think that's gonna be a fun episode, trying to figure out how I'm gonna get my dream team of actors with zero budget. So yeah, it should be pretty fun. 
It's all gonna kick off probably beginning or end of February, which is soon, so stay tuned. It's all gonna happen here on YouTube as far as the behind the scenes. And uh, for those of you guys who have been following the, the Bebelon game development, <laughs> Don't worry, the game's coming along beautifully, slowly, but beautifully. And uh, Akrima is gonna continue to lead the charge on the game while I kind of take it this, uh, this sideshow detour uh, for the short film. Anyway, keep an eye out. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, until next time, peace out, everybody. Peace, peace on out. Yeah, baby.